Air Signs. It's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back to do your weekly energy update from the 15th through the 20th of September. And during the pre-shuffle meditation, I have to say I'm so freaking proud of you guys. It's looking like you withdrew your love offer from a situation where you felt like you was being treated unfairly. And because you was brave enough to step away from the situation and start focusing on things that's more important for you, that's more healthy for you, that's going to benefit you in the long run, you are facing a major shift in success, a major shift in your financial um, luck. Uh... And it's definitely looking like this person found that part of you, that self-love, stand up for yourself, kind of move forward since you ain't treating me right. So sexy in you. And so since you turned your back on the situation, focused on yourself and loved yourself first and respect yourself first, this person is finding you extremely attractive. You came up as the queen of wands and they came up as the knight of cups. Now... So it's, it's proven that when you take a step back and you do something for yourself and you set boundaries, that that's actually attractive to people. When you people please, it's more, number one, it comes off more as desperation than anything. That's number one. But number two, it, it doesn't make people want to treat you right. Like, we all have this misconception that, oh, yeah, if I treat people really good and if I bend over backwards for people, um, people are going to do the same thing for me. Wrong. Uh, I hate to say it, but people that do that typically finish last. So sometimes self-preservation is key. Look out for your own best interest, especially if the person that you're dealing with is not. And I guarantee if... If just missing you in general doesn't bring that person back, then just seeing that you stood strongly in your power, that you took your power back from them, that you didn't allow yourself to sit around and get treated poorly is the type of thing that will make somebody come back. You released yourself from a situation. Maybe you felt stuck. Maybe you felt trapped for whatever reason. Maybe you and this person have kids together. Maybe y'all lived in a house together. Or maybe you just generally didn't know what to do once this person switched up on you and started treating you negatively. Maybe, maybe they didn't start off treating you like that. And here goes that same justice that was in reverse coming up in the upright as soon as I part the deck. So let's just see what comes out in the main spread. So far we got the eight of swords in reverse. Signifying that you released yourself from a mental prison that you were feeling trapped in or you were just feeling trapped in the situation, period. And you released yourself. Maybe you felt obligated to this person. And now this person is examining the truth before they actually come forth and tell you. Normally, the Knight of Swords is rushing in. It doesn't look like this one is rushing in because it looks like they're examining their thoughts. They're reevaluating how they're going to come forth and speak truth to you when it comes to a certain situation. Okay? So, okay, can I get the energies or messages for air signs? Yes. You no longer want to focus on the past. You want to focus on the future and forge ahead, okay? And once again, because you felt like you was being treated unfairly. So, it's definitely, it looks like the storyline is coming out again, you know? And at this time, this person can be laying low and not speaking to you. This Knight of Swords energy could be laying low and not speaking to you simply because... They aren't quite ready to tell the truth, but they are, oh, and they did, They definitely exhibited in and out passion for you. So it seems like whenever you walked away, then all of a sudden it'd be like, no, 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 don't go. I need you. I want you. And here you are at the bottom of the deck once again as the queen of wands. But, and the minute that you would be like, well, okay, you know, seem like you really love me. Let me not just give up on this. And they'll get, go right back to their inner, the same energy. They were trying to avoid an ending with you. And that's the reason why, you know, they exhibited that in and out passion. One minute it was like, they would act like they didn't care about the situation. And the minute that you would threaten to walk away, cause it just seemed like they weren't that into you anymore. And they were using this tactic to um, control the situation. This could be an Aries or a Taurus energy that you are messing with. Okay. But this person wasn't offering you a truthful new beginning. You know, so you have to decide as to whether you want to give them a chance again. Because it's looking like 
with these last few cards that fell out, it's like unless you was trying to get a confession out of this person and they wouldn't confess. So you guys fell into a stalemate. You was no longer feeling them. You feel like they was giving to others outside of your relationship. Not in, and not to you. Like it feel like they were spreading themselves so thin in the streets or with other, other energies or other women. You know, and they were completely happy with this. They were fine with this. You know, even though it upset you. But they wanted to have their cake and eat it too. And you just like, you know what? No. You can go ahead and give to those other people. Because I need balance in my life. And you are not providing me with balance. So here's the judgment for this person. So they probably had some type of epiphany. And now they want to come back in and manifest the situation back to fruition with you. And come in with a brand new offer. Now this offer may be small starting off at a page level of... Perhaps just whatever. Can we sit down and talk? Can we have a heart to heart? They might even try to let their guards down with you for a second, you know, just to see, okay, like, what is it? What, you know, if they ask for a second, you might be like, you got three seconds. What's up? You know, or who knows? But at the end of the day, um, this person is trying to get back in your good graces. Um, like I said, it, it came out as a love offer and a pre shuffle, so that may be what it leads to. But it seems like this person is probably going to try to just come around and be friendly and kind of, you know, just, you know, talk to you and, and try to get the truth out to you. Because they know that unless you do that, you guys are not going to have a second chance. And in addition to that, it's going to stay in, at a stalemate level. So, you know, that's why they're here trying to reevaluate their thoughts and reevaluate how exactly they want to communicate um said truth okay so let's get to clarifying some of this why is the eight of swords here in reverse for air signs aquarius libra gemini sun moon arising from the 15th to the 20th of september okay mm. oh yeah you released yourself from a situation a situation where you probably was connected to a control freak okay the Knight of Swords. And this person just tried to control things in their favor. Like normally the Emperor and um the Emperor in the upright is like a father figure, somebody that knows how to run a household, somebody that knows how to be a husband. You know, and the Emperor shows up twice here. So again, this person could be an Aries or a Taurus you were dealing with. They could even be a Leo. Um they could be another air sign, such as yourself, a Gemini. <sighs> yeah. So. Ooh, or Scorpio. But yeah, this person is trying to come forth and tell the truth because an ending happened because of their lusty behavior. And so now this person is trying to figure out how to come forth and actually confess that. Because it's looking like it's something that was already found out. Maybe it was found out. Maybe it was found out from an outside source. And you brought it to this person. And now they're trying to come. They're trying to figure out how exactly do they go about. Okay, yeah. Now I have to tell this person the truth. Now I have to tell my wife, my girlfriend. Or if this is reverse, my, my husband or my boyfriend the truth. You know, but it's looking like instead of that explanation, damn, the six of cups in reverse was, <sighs> okay, yeah. The six of cups in reverse was clarified by the six of cups in the upright. So it definitely looks like you two are soulmates, but it's definitely looking like at this time, one person is trying to move on and the other person is feeling quite nostalgic. And you know what? This could be one of those table turn situations where... You know, this person wasn't loving you right until you decided to really, really dip. Now that you left, they're trying to avoid the tower, but the tower came down anyways. You know, they try to avoid the tower by lying and stuff like that. You know, you could be dealing with a Libra, but at the same time, this is the air sign reading. You know what I'm saying? So let me see. Why is the justice in reverse here? For air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. 
from September the 15th through the 20th. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so unfair treatment is definitely leading to divorce and somebody not no longer want to work it out. And it's kind of the same way, but it's looking like it's flip flop between the feminine and the masculine energy because water signs got the same thing with a, with a masculine energy was like ready to throw in a towel, but the feminine energy was clinging on to their life, you know, so it's kind of the same and, you know, don't take the gender of the cards too seriously because it could still be the feminine energy that's trying to cling on. Yeah. Once again, it's looking like a earth energy, perhaps Taurus, is who betrayed this connection with in and out lusty behavior. Maybe this situation was on and off. Maybe this person will be faithful one minute and the next minute they was paying attention to other women or doing stuff for other women. Uh, the tower in reverse. And it's funny how people want down. Yeah. This person, even though they treated you unfair, they still don't want this to end. They feel like it would be a major injustice for them if it ended. Even though they're the ones that's kind of putting you through the ring right now. Why is the sun card here? Because the sun card, like the happiness in the midst of all of this chaos, I can't see it. Yup, that's what it was. Yes. This person was happy with a brand new offer that was coming in. Whatever this new offer or whatever. Now, maybe they tried to block this person out. Or maybe they blocked you out for this other person. And now they regret it. Why is the temperance card here? Why is this? Damn. Ah, Ace of Pentacles. They want to bring. They want to bring back balance to this. They was offering somebody else love, but they want to come offering you some kind of tangible offer of stability. And it's like, how you gonna offer somebody else your love and then come with a coin for me? Like thanks and all, but shit, you already gave your love to someone else. Why is the Empress here? I mean Emperor. Why is the Emperor here? For Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising from the 15th through the 20th of September. When it comes to love, why is the Emperor here? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah. What he once rejected, now he wants to give a chance to. And I honestly saw that here twice, I think. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. It's not here. I thought I saw it. I guess not. Nope. Maybe it was in a pre-shuffle. But now they want to work it out. They want to, like, give it a new chance. Like, okay, I was acting stubborn in the past. I was bored in the past. But it's looking like with this ace of swords in reverse and this fool in reverse, like, air signs, you're turning it down. It's like, no new beginning for me. Why is the hanged woman here in reverse? You guys are at a stalemate because of this person's behavior. Flighty, lusty behavior. Loving other people on the outside. The hanged woman. Why is the hanged woman here? In reverse. Yeah. This, this stalemate is against... I want to say both of you wishes, but I really feel like this person was good until they got caught. I feel like they were fine having their cake and eat it too. But what they didn't get is they got sloppy with it. Now, they want to stop being selfish and self-serving and lying and cheating and stealing. They want to come out this energy now. It's like too little too late. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? <laughs> yeah. This person was given to somebody else. And not only was they given actual emotion to this person, but they was given sex to this person. He was in his queen of wands and reverse energy, kind of hoeing around. But now he want to um, bridge the gap between y'all, even though he was on some other shit, devil energy. It's not going nowhere, though, with the chariot here in reverse. Because guess what? You're getting over the situation. You no longer have a sleepless nights about the situation, okay? 
you letting it go. You like, you know what? I feel more successful. And like I said, in the pre-shuffle, you guys had the um, Wheel of Fortune in the upright, the Six of Wands in the upright. So it seems like not too long after you guys let this go and heal from it, that you will be coming into success and that you will be seeing new luck when it comes to your finances. <sighs> and just your overall look when it comes to life, you know what I'm saying? Things are going to be working in your favor. So let me get some advice oracles for air signs, sun, moon, and rising for the weeks of the 15th through the 20th. Oh, yeah. This person was definitely in gang energy. They was definitely operating in shadow energy while they was doing this. And this is a one card. So yeah, when they when they had this new beginning with someone else, that Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands energy, it's looking like they had a lot of passion for that other person. This person is not your soulmate. Maybe you thought they were. Go the distance. And when, when I see this go the distance, at, um, clarifying this spread to me, I feel like that means to go the distance for what's best for you. It's only one character in this card. So I definitely feel like that means go the distance go do what it takes to for you to recover from this situation for you to bring yourself to a point of happiness and maybe you were having a hard time making a decision with this fork a road fork in the road in reverse you were having a hard time making a decision as to whether you wanted to move forward or not but as soon as you got a leg up in a situation you just decided you know what I mean, damn, I'll be damned if I do and damned if I don't. So I might as well move on because I'm going to always be unhappy. I'm going to always be slightly depressed. I'm going to always be feeling some kind of way if I stay with somebody that I know truly don't love me. So let's pull some finances for air signs, sun, moon, and rising and see what's coming in for you guys for this week. If any good improvement in your finances will be happening due to this full moon in Pisces that we had this weekend. Because I don't know about y'all, but I've been paying super homage to this damn moment. For real. I didn't even get on YouTube at all yesterday. Too busy charging everything. Couldn't use these decks because they was getting two days worth of charging. And it's Pisces Moon. Pisces is the most psychic sign of all the zodiac. So if it was any time to charge all your psychic tools, this was the time. So... I charge myself for two nights in a row, and I probably will be putting it back in for this final night of Pisces full moon energy. Okay, can I tap into the energy of air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, finances from the 15th through the 20th of September, please, Spirit. Air sign, finances, any clear, concise messages about the finances of air signs? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Yep, okay, so three messages so far. Okay, Ten of Wands. It's looking like you're dropping burdens. So whatever responsibilities was kind of holding you back from your you being able to wow. Okay, it's looking like you're trying to gain that success. <coughs> it's looking like you're trying to gain that success trying to gain the recognition from your hard work but right now it's just not coming in for you okay right now but i feel like that's coming to an end i feel like you not getting the recognition that you deserve from you know whatever hard work you've been focusing on when it comes to um you know maybe a creative endeavor or opening up your own business or just a job, period. Maybe you haven't been getting the recognition. Maybe you haven't gotten that raise. Maybe you haven't gotten that promotion. Maybe if you've been trying to get a business off the ground, it, it, but look, <laughs> maybe it hasn't been doing as well as you want to, but you are coming out of those money issues with the five of pentacles in reverse here. If you are homeless, you coming out of that. But right now, it's looking like you, you you get ready to fix your finances. Like, that chapter is closed. Yes, you're getting over anxiety when it comes to your finances. Maybe you've been worried about... Maybe you had to exhibit more faith. Oh, my God. Okay. So, it was Six of Pentacles in reverse, 
which is signifying a lack of success or a lack of recognition, but the star is the complete opposite. And it's a major arcana. So you definitely got that recognition that you felt like you was missing before coming in for you. People are going to recognize your work. They are going to give you credit for your work. They are going to give you respect and praise and honor for the things that you are doing and the ideas that you're out here implementing and, you know, turning over whatever new leaf you've been turning over. With the Three of Cups here, it's definitely going to be a reason to celebrate or you might even have some work business partners that you've been thinking about um, actually partnering up with to actually make this happen. Okay, can I get two more cards for air signs? Some on the rising when it comes to their finances, please, spirit. Oh, yeah. Air sign, sun, moon, rising. Damn. Carol the wine. So that's some good news coming in. So maybe you've been actually waiting on good news. You thought it wasn't coming. And then when it did, it just changes everything. It changes your look, your... It closes out an old chapter and opens up a whole new cycle for you. Where you're going to be doing well. Even changing your instability so what i will definitely warn you and say okay because it looks like you could be getting a new home or something but it definitely looks like anything that you overspending on or overdoing whether it be vices shopping any of that has to come to an end in order for this four of wands to flip in order for your money situation to actually change your lack of stability um some things need to be set to the side some important things that um you don't really need to be spending your money on so be really really careful when it comes to your finances at this time because if you overspending on certain things then um it's not gonna matter how much you change your financial situation you're still gonna find yourself in the same position financially so shaman and uh vision quest so it's definitely looking like you guys are soul searching and in the process of healing yourself with this shaman card here. <clears throat> you definitely could be using some ancient um, ancient remedies to heal yourself, some Native American remedies, maybe even doing like an alkaline diet. Hold on one second. But it's definitely looking like something catapulted you into a wake-up call. And put some fire into your ass so that you can kind of move along whatever um, project you had going on. So you can bring, <clears throat> bring in that stability for yourself. So it's looking like your money is coming in, but you're going to have to balance that money in order to become stable. Because having money don't mean stable. So make sure when your financial situation changes that you don't go overboard and just start spending frivolously on things that you don't need because you can land yourself back in a situation that you've been waiting, hoping, wishing, manifesting, and praying to get out of. So make sure you're careful about how you spend and what you spend on. Invest wisely. Pay off any existing debt that you have so you can get yourself caught up on whatever it is you need to be caught up on. So at least if this is a short-lived like uh, fame, popularity, or uh, not, I don't want to say fame or popularity, but if this is just like a temporary, you know, thing where your prosperity kind of come, in, you know, in a good flow and then it stops again and you end up back in the same situation, at least you will no longer be behind and you will have some things taken care of before, you know, whatever. But always just, just try to hope for the best. Once your situation changes, don't do anything to land yourself back in the same situation because it's all about evolving or repeating. You shouldn't have to repeat the same lessons unless you don't actually learn the old one. So that concludes, you guys, um, Terrascope reading for the 15th through the 20th of September for this weekly energy for air signs, sun, moon, and rising. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.